Hey, Cape Breton. Uh, this is Matthew Giorgio with GoCapeBreton.com, and I'm here to offer some more advice to small business owners in Cape Breton. Uh, recently, I posted a video uh, about Facebook and how Facebook may be failing a lot of local businesses. Um, I encourage you to have a look at that video if you're interested in Facebook marketing. Um, in this video, what I'd like to talk about is actual marketing numbers, basic marketing math. And don't be scared by the word math. We're not going to do any complex math here, but this is uh, an area that I find a lot of small business owners stumble on is simply how important uh, basic numbers in terms of reach is to making a meaningful change in your business in terms of increasing your sales. So let me give an example. So let's say you have you sell a product or service and you put out an offer, maybe it's a, a discount or a special you have, or just a regular promotion of your business. And you can reach, let's say, 100 people with that offer. So 100 people become aware of what you're offering at this moment. How many of those people are going to buy? Well, in general business averages, what you'll find is that number is usually 1%, maybe 2%, maybe 3%. But in the end, it's really low percentage. So you reach 100 people, maybe one or two of those 100 will actually act on your offer and make a purchase. Now think about this for a moment. If you're selling a $20 product, maybe you're a food business and you sell a $20 product and you get one or two people to act, you're generating $20, $40 maybe in revenue. Um, if obviously you sell a higher, higher price product, uh, you might generate more in revenue, but then again, your percentage of people who react to that uh, offer may be lower. So your overall revenue is a bit lower. And of course, as business owners, we know that revenue doesn't tell the full story. It's ultimately your net profit. So if you're offering something at 20 bucks, it might actually cost you 10 to deliver that uh, that product or service. So you're only making 10, and then there's other expenses. And again, generally, most small businesses might net 10%. Um, of their top line revenue as actual net profit. So on a $20 uh, sale, you might make two bucks uh, all, you know, after all is said and done. So you've reached 100 people and you made $2. So as you can see, this is where numbers become important because, you know, you have to reach a lot of people to convert them into customers. And you also have to keep in mind that that's 100 people you might be reaching you know my simple math here but it might actually require you to reach that same person multiple times before they actually act why well maybe they don't have the money at that particular time uh, to afford what you're selling maybe it's just not the right time they can afford it but it's just not the right time in their lives to buy whatever it is that you're offering so a lot of marketing research over the years if you look at uh, print advertising and direct mail and so on uh, suggests that somebody has to see an offer five, ten times before they'll actually act on it. So as a business owner, you know, you start to see how expensive this can be. Well, wait a minute, I have to, to reach a hundred people. I got to get those same hundred people to see my offer five or ten times. And then at the end, maybe only one or two are going to buy. This is where uh, a lot of business owners fall down and stumble because they don't realize how many people you need to reach to create meaningful uh, sales difference in your business. So reaching 50 people, reaching 100 people a couple times it is not going to do it. You have to be in the thousands because remember only 1%, 2%, 3% of those people uh, may convert. Now if you like this concept and think it makes sense, the next thing you want to consider is a term called uh, customer acquisition cost. So you know once you understand some of these numbers you know, how much are you spending maybe on marketing or reaching somebody? Um, how many of those people are actually coming in to make a purchase? You can do some simple math to determine the cost to acquire a customer. So if it costs you $100, let's say, in advertising to reach 100 people and one person uh, buys, um, that's essentially $100 uh, customer acquisition uh, cost. And so, you know, if that customer is only buying $20 a product, and which is again netting $2 in net revenue and uh, net net income and profit, then you're really losing money. 
Um, so uh, understanding your customer acquisition costs helps you understand if your marketing is working for you and how well the marketing is working. So some channels may deliver uh, better our return on investment for you if you understand your customer acquisition costs. And then if you like this concept, you want to go further, you can do what's called the lifetime value of a customer. So in many businesses, and especially food businesses, for example, you'll have repeat customers, right? So the customer is going to keep coming back. So what you can do is calculate your lifetime value for that customer. So if you keep that customer for three months, six months, a year, maybe several years, how much revenue do you think you can generate from that customer? And what are things you can do to keep that customer coming back and to come back more often? Because it's often said in business, it's easier to keep a customer and keep them coming back than it is to try to find a new customer. So marketing can also be uh, very focused and should be very focused on retaining your customers and keeping them coming back uh, to buy more. And of course, not all businesses have that uh, option. Sometimes it's you know one one and done with your customers, and you know that'll change your lifetime value uh, calculations. But so the core of my message here today is try to understand your conversion rate from how many people you need to reach, how often you need to reach them, and how many of those may convert to customers and and uh, what the cost of that is because that will help you understand how you need to move the needle uh, to make your business more successful. Anyway, I hope you find this helpful and have happy business.